Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Brooks, and this is going to be a preview to our Reading Royals as they try to go for three straight against the Newfoundland Grounds after a 4 3 OT win that the hero was Jacob Pritchard. The all star Pritchard was the hero as he, of course, scored a goal in the first game against the Grounds in this three game series. As the Royals try to go three for three today after killing them in game one, playing a good game in game two it was the pure definition of a back and forth game. Uh, one goal for each team in all three periods. And then the Reading Royals were able to capitalize in the OT via, again, Jacob Pritchard to get the win. Again, I said it at the beginning when I previewed the series and did the previews for the series against the Newfoundland Growers for our first place Reading Royals. In order to stay in first place and beat the second place team in the Growers, you have to do what you've done against them all season. That's led to the best success is jamming them in the neutral zone, frustrating their guys by being able to kind of get the puck off of their tape via great forecheck, great back checking, also just great positioning. And the Reading Royals have been a great positional team all season. And that's what really is able to have them play a star-studded team like the Newfoundland Growlers uh, really well, who have a lot of guys that are on the swing contracts between the AHL and ECHL. The Royals have been able to play this team tremendously well because of the fact that they really are positionally a fantastic team not just with their sticks, but also just with the ways of anticipating where the puck goes and play. And that's helped them tremendously and immensely. And then on top of being great positionally, they've done very good at jamming the neutral zone. They've done very good at getting into and out of zones. They've been the most efficient team of obviously the entire Flyers organization, excuse me, at being able to get in and out of different zones and being able to be the best positionally. The Royals are the best team in the organization uh, this year. Um, and that's including if you add, since Comcast Spectre owns the main Mariners, that's also including if you add, they're not part of the direct organization, but part of the ownership uh, group of Spectre who owns the Flyers. Uh, if you even want to include them just because of the ownership tie, that would even include them. The Reading, uh, Reading Rose, of course, better than the main Mariners. But when it comes to today's game, Pressy, um, or Cressy, excuse me, Pritchard, just combine both of their names, uh, Cressy and Pritchard um, are both playing at an absolutely ridiculous level um, of late to Chara, Cormier on defense. I would expect those guys to keep flying and by call. That's what it is, though. Like you, The list can just keep going on and on. Cam Strong stepped up when he's been in games. Um, like you, You've had all these different people step up for the team. Kenny Hausinger was great in the preseason, didn't have the best start to the season in terms of production, looked solid on the edge, just didn't have the production, and then has come in uh, bunches of late, and he's been really good of late production-wise, uh, Kenny Housinger in the last couple weeks. So, like, this team's really been getting great throughout depth scoring, and I don't see that ending anytime soon. That's why I think the way this team's ascending, if they keep doing the great neutral zone jam play, and they can continue to be one of the best positional teams in the league, there's no reason to think this team's not going to keep ascending and being in first place and have a chance to not just compete with the Newfoundland Growls of the world, but compete with all the rest of the teams in the ECHL once we get down to the playoffs and get down to the down and dirty and try to get to the Kelly Cup. But this has been a preview for the Reading Royals versus the Newfoundland Growls. They try to take three of three after having a great Newfoundland uh, a great Newfoundland Growlers home spoiler yesterday, beating them in OT. Peace out, everybody. Please subscribe down below on the Easy Dudes widget or up above on or up above on the Easy Dudes widget, excuse me, and down below on the Easy Dudes subscribe button to help us get to 200 by the end of February. Stay safe out there, everybody, and enjoy the hockey. Peace out.